गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स वेलकम अगेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम ई एन टी एम सी क्यूज लेट सी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड सेरोमिन ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट इन द ईयर आर मॉडिफाइड एपोक्राइन ग्लैंड बी इज द आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एट कौन ऑफ लाइट इज ड्यू टू See the guys, cone of light is due to option A, malleolar fold, option B, handle of malleolus, and option C, inferior quadrant, and option D is tapis. So, guys, what do you think? It's handle of malleolus is the answer. Okay. Now, question number twenty-eight. Tapis foot plate covers. it mainly covers round window oval window how to remember oval window o start from o and foot double o so oval window okay question number 39 infection of cns spreads in inner ear through i hope cochlear adequate aqueduct cochlear aqueduct yes is it absolutely right answer now we are going to discuss question number 46 endolymph in inner ear what endolymph in inner ear is secreted by stria vascularis b is the answer 46 b is the answer okay now our next question yes question number 50 Labyrinth artery is a branch of. It's a branch of anterior inferior cerebellar artery. It's a branch of anterior inferior cerebellar artery. Okay. Now question number fifty six. Let's the cuff response caused while cleaning the ear canal is mediated by the stimulation of vagus nerve. so option here is 10th cranial nerve is a right answer okay now let's discuss question number 95 sorry yes question number 95 higher auditory center determines it mainly determine the sound localization here answer is t option d is right okay let's see question number 24th a 38 year old gentleman reports of decreased hearing in right ear for the last 2 years on testing with a 512 hertz tuning fork the rhinz test without masking is negative on the right ear and positive on the left ear with the weber test with the weber test of the tone is perceived as louder in the left ear the most likely the patient has the patient suffering from right sensory neuronal hearing loss b is the answer guys okay right answer now question number 27th patient with both ear rhinz positive and weber's test to lateralize to the left the diagnosis is right sensory neuronal deafness question number 127 c option is a right answer okay a aged violin player can get a correct pitch only by touching his feet to the vibrating instrument he is most likely to damage middle ear 130 answer is b middle ear okay now question number 154 the initial screening test for newborn hearing disorder is auto acoustic emission b is the answer guys okay now question number 156 auto acoustic emissions arises from 
it is mainly arises from the outer hair cells b is option right now let's see the question number 157 high frequency audio metry is used in option b is the right answer is auto toxicity okay now question number 167 a 35 year old pregnant female complaining of hearing loss which aggravated during pregnancy was sent for tympanometry which of the following graphs will be seen capital e by small s a is the right answer okay 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 now let's um this question c 175 ryan's test was negative in right ear possible diagnosis is 400 decibel chl right ear left ear was normal okay b is answer now question number 176 wave 5 in para is seen in wave 5 in para the wave is seen in guys 176 thing 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 what is it answer is lateral laminiscus okay 176 answer is lateral laminiscus screening test of choice in neonat is oae we already discussed Question number one ninety. The commonest cause of hearing loss. Okay, this question one ninety. Commonest cause of hearing loss in children is chronic secretory otitis media. D is answer and it's hundred percent right. Ryan's test negative in one ninety two. The answer. Here is tympano sclerosis negative in tympano sclerosis. Okay, Ryan's test is positive in normal individual guys. Ryan's test is positive in normal individual. Okay. Now question number two thirty four. A positive fistula test during shigellization indicates. Uh. Answer is B. Para labyrinthis due to erosion of lateral semicircular canal. Two thirty four. Answer here is B, guys. Okay. Now, two forty seven. Vestibular evoked myogenic potential detects lesion in. It mainly detects lesion in where inferior vestibular nerve. Okay. It detects lesion in inferior vestibular nerve. Now the last question: Site of lesion in unilateral past pointing nystagmus is where the gall is. Its cerebral hemisphere. So guys, I already finished with E N T topics. Ah, uh, part one. wait for the next part have a good day goodbye and if you still not subscribe my channel please subscribe it goodbye good day